I'm Namtunzi Mashalaba, a visual artist who is currently based in Chobe, in Johannesburg. This is currently my studio and I've been working here for 11 months right now. It is quite small and intimate uh, and then of course when I'm working it feels also that uh, because when I work at, in each and every piece I have to work it with four pieces at a time and then once I feel like they've it reached a certain point I have to move them aside and then put up so it, 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 it gives me sort of like this movement of also the putting up of work and taking them down and sort of like uh, a more performative solo sh piece of my own so yeah it, it, it does work nicely for me uh, my mom was a dressmaker so uh, now quite often the house was full of fabrics and strings and uh, and wool and uh, and she would encourage me to to actually play around or even make my own dolls or soft sculptures uh, with the fabric. Several entries to that informs the work. Uh, mostly it is uh, notebooks. Uh, by that I mean the, the writing, the calligraphy of, 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 of from a childhood the, of a notebook, uh, the quality of paper and the colours in terms of ageing of paper. For now with the project that I'm working on that is the the fundamental inspiration for the work. Some of the themes that I have explored so far in my work have been identity and ethnicity. And, and of course, South Africa has a very strong historical background. So if you're creating work within a South African context, in some extent, the work tends to trend to that kind of uh, identity. On the last couple of years, uh, there has been quite a younger uh, sort of uh, generation that has uh, been quite active internationally. So the work in itself is very sort of has a global, so a global sort of uh, aesthetics in a sense. So it doesn't necessarily apply to what was primitively known as African art or South African art. So it, it kind of engages sort of a, a global conversation. Every child kind of starts from kind of scribbling and, uh, and doodling and somehow for most people they outgrow it. For me it has been constant throughout my whole career. It is one of perhaps one of the languages of, uh, yeah, of, human, of humankind.